The demonstration I'm about to show you and talk about is dangerous, and you should never attempt it on your own. The test tube on the left contains a few grams of paraffin wax, and something really peculiar will happen when you heat the wax to boiling and then plunge it into an ice water bath. Let me show you what I mean. Here it is again in slow motion. The heat from that fireball was intense, so what exactly is going on here that caused that to happen? I think it's easiest to understand if we take it step by step. First, I had to heat the paraffin wax to its boiling point, which requires a lot of energy. Paraffin's not a pure substance, rather it's a mixture of wax molecules of a variety of sizes, with carbon chain lengths between 20 to 40 atoms long, so it doesn't have a fixed boiling point like water does, but it will start to boil once the liquid temperature goes beyond 370 degrees Celsius. At this point, the boiling liquid is extremely dangerous. The wax is vaporizing rapidly, making it able to ignite and burn easily as the vapor mixes with the air. And more importantly, the boiling point is well above the auto-ignition temperature of wax. That's the point where it can ignite spontaneously without any spark or flame. So all the wax needs is sufficient oxygen, and combustion will happen. So here's the breakdown behind what you just saw. As soon as the test tube hits the ice water, it cracks, allowing water to come in contact with the hot wax and instantly boil, ejecting the boiling wax upwards. This causes the wax to vaporize, mixing with oxygen in the air and igniting at the spot where there's the most ideal mixture of heat, wax, and oxygen, the top of the vapor cloud. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and put in the comments any questions that you might have related to this demonstration or future demonstrations that you'd like to see me explain.